Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Erica. I make videos all about bags. So if you're looking to get your bag fixed in weekly, look no further, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and here is where you will get your bag fixed. But without further ado guys, let's get into the video, but most importantly, let's get into the bag. Hello everyone, welcome back. If you saw my video last week, you know I did a what's in my bag of this bag, the Kurt Geiger XXL Kensington bag. I told you in that video how much I love this bag and I definitely wanted to do a review for you in case you were thinking about buying it, it might be on the fence look no further this is the review I didn't see many reviews on YouTube so I thought this would be helpful for any of you who are thinking about the bag so I've broken the review down into a few categories I'm gonna go over the size the dimensions inner and outer pockets and then I will obviously model this bag for you so you can see it on a 5 by frame I'll talk about the material I'll also do a computer test I had somebody ask me um, if I could start doing laptop size tests in all the bags of what bag fits what laptop so I have a 13 and 15 inch MacBook for you to see if, if it fits this bag and then I will also go over the pros and the cons of this bag at the very end so stay tuned for that but let me give you a small, short introduction to Kurt Geiger. Kurt Geiger is a brand that originated in the United Kingdom. It has slowly saw its way to the United States. You can find these bags in the major retail departments, stores like Nordstrom or Macy's. Um, I actually got mine off of Nordstrom.com, and I really love this bag. I've seen so many Kurt Geiger things popping up lately. The Kensington line has all different sizes, so if you're not interested in the XXL, they do have varying sizes if you want to go smaller. I believe the XXL is the largest in this line. Um, I particularly liked the XXL bag, but again, it may not be so for you. Go ahead and check out the different bags that he has in his line. Again, if this size is not something that you particularly love. Let's get right into the size of this bag. So this bag obviously is an XXL, so it is larger. It is 14 and 3 quarter inches wide. It is 10 inches high and it is five and three quarters deep, so it is definitely a larger bag. Uh, again, that is something that attracted me to the bag, and I loved the size of it. It fits everything, truly, it, it fits so much stuff. So let me give you a close up of the bag. It is this quilted leather. It has the very, very iconic Kurt Geiger uh, crusted eagle, so I love that. It has the gold chain detail, and then on the top of the chain are these two leather little straps, so when it rests on your shoulder, um, you are not getting like hurt with the gold straps. Now I will say too, the gold straps really are kind of heavy. It makes it feel very quality. Now let me go ahead and open this bag for you too. It has two magnetic buttons for closure. It's a flat bag so it obviously shuts magnetically and then you are able to open it like so. The inside lining is black and we have one slip pocket here. We have a divider here but it does have no compartments so there's no compartments on this but it divides the bag into like a front and a back and then it's got this back slip pocket and then you have the side of the bag and then you have this very back side that also has no compartments and it has this little Kurt Geiger London right here um, that is not a like a crusted on plate. It is more or less kind of like painted on if you will is kind of what it feels like. So that is a close up of the bag. So something to note about this bag that I actually found super cool and another reason why I bought it, it is a convertible crossbody bag so you can take it from your normal shoulder bag and very quickly make it into a crossbody. I absolutely love that feature. I thought the chain might make it so that it didn't go very easily crossbody. Lies. It goes so easily into a crossbody bag. So if you are somebody who travels, like, you know, maybe you're at the airport a lot or use public transportation and you want to quickly go from a shoulder to a crossbody bag, this is the bag for you. I find that it is very seamless to go in between this style and the crossbody style. But I told you I would model this for you. Let me go ahead and do that. Again, for reference, I am 5'5". Five five. I will show you both the on the shoulder look and the crossbody strap look. Oh, 
Okay guys, next let's go into talking about the material of this bag because I think it is pretty noteworthy. This is a very, very soft quilted leather. Now I think the material has both a pro and a con. The soft leather is just that. It's soft, it's luscious, it's beautiful. Um, I absolutely adore the look of it for sure. However, I find that the soft leather makes it feel like this bag might not be so durable in the long run. Now for the month and month and a half I've actually carried it, I can't speak to its durability. It has worn beautifully. Um, I am not necessarily rough with this bag, but I don't baby it either. It comes with me everywhere. And it's just, it's, it's wonderful. It's held up seamlessly. I absolutely adore it. In a year from now when I make this video again, we'll see how well it's worn. Um, however, I just feel like that soft leather feel just makes it so that it just I don't know. I don't. I cannot speak to its durability. Um, I have had no leather bag quite like this with this soft leather. Um, so I can't speak for soft leather durability. It just feels like it might not be so durable in the long run. However, the look it gives the bag is just so high end. And that's what I love so much about it is that it looks like a YSL or Chanel bag without the YSL or Chanel bag price. Let's go into the colors of this bag. When I purchased this, the two colors available were black and teal. Um, I went with the black because I find that it just would go with more of my wardrobe and I don't have very many just all black bags and I love it. It goes with every outfit, goes with everything that I, I wear um, and it's just suited for all occasions. There is a teal color available on Nordstrom as well. Teal is beautiful. It's just not something that I would wear all the time. That's why I did not go with teal, although that's not to say it's not gorgeous. It's a phenomenal color. There also is a metallic rainbow bag that I have not seen on the Nordstrom site yet. I have seen on different sites, uh, particularly the Kurt Geiger site. You can get it from there. Um, and I really, really, really would love this bag in metallic rainbow because again, black is so classy and goes with everything, but I'm just a rainbow kind of personality. I'm really hoping that I will have the rainbow bag under the tree. Hint, hint, DJ, if you are watching. Okay guys, so the next category we are going into is like the size test. Like what really can you fit into this bag? Somebody has asked me to do a laptop test with all of the bags that I do reviews on and I think that's such a good idea because people who are carrying bags this size might actually jewel it as like a school bag or a work bag, whatever that may be, and they might wanna carry their laptops on them. So I'm going to test this with a 13 and a 15 inch laptop so you can get an idea of what will fit into these bags. Okay guys, the first uh, laptop I have is a 13 inch MacBook Air. Um, so you have the size of a normal laptop. It is just a little thinner. I can't imagine the width with a six, almost nearly six inch deep bag that a little wider of a laptop would not hurt. So let's go ahead and try this. It fits beautifully, y'all. There is nothing, I mean, even the height is perfect. It goes right to shut. We have no issues. So it absolutely will fit a 13 inch laptop. Now let's try the 15 inch. I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, all right, let's see. It's certainly very snug and you kind of have to fit it in like the outer side. Like I could not just fit it in this middle, but without a case, it does fit and it snaps shut. So actually that's good to know. I've actually never tried the 15 inch laptop test before until just now. So if you have a 15 inch computer, you are good to go, it will fit. Next guys, in line of like a size test, I wanted to do um, my Erin Condren sock planner as well. If you saw my what's in my bag, you already know that it does fit in there. And if you haven't, I will link that video somewhere in the cards up top or in the description box below. So go ahead and like watch that too. That gives you a better idea of how much this will fit. But this is kind of a bigger size like planner. It can get thicker too because you could put more notebooks in it and it fits absolutely no problem. So if you are looking to use this as primarily a work bag, you will have no issue uh, because it does fit so much. Now guys, our last category is pros and cons. What are the pros and the cons to this bag? Certainly a pro is its size. If you're looking for just a big bag, a bag that looks very sleek, because sometimes I feel like the bigger bags lose their chicness or the sleekness um, that 
the smaller bags have, um, where in this one, I just don't think it does that. I think it is just so beautiful. It's so stunning and it truly looks high end, which is what I love so much about it. Um, that I, I think it really does. The size is what makes it. Another huge pro of this bag guys is the optional crossbody bag. I absolutely love that. When I first purchased it off of Nordstrom, I did not read in Nordstrom's description that it was the optional crossbody. It was me reading the reviews that I found out it was the optional crossbody. So I felt like I really did need to include that for all of you who are looking to buy this bag but just don't know. Now Nordstrom could have updated that or I could have blatantly missed it. That's obviously something that could have happened as well. But I absolutely adore the fact that you can go from a shoulder bag to a hands-free crossbody very seamlessly and effortlessly. And I just think, again, no matter which way you wear it, it's very sleek looking. Another pro about this bag, guys, that I thought actually when I first bought it might be a con and might be something that annoyed me overall is the fact that it's a flat bag. Obviously, this lends to a pretty decent secure bag. So if you are a traveler, you do take public transportation quite often. This is a bag that somebody obviously cannot just slip into very easily um, as it is a flat magnetic closure bag. Now, I thought the accessibility of getting in and out very quickly would be something that would annoy me because, of course, you have the flap and then it's got to snap shut. That's not the case with this bag. It's actually very easy to get in and out of. At least I find that. And I find that like even if you don't have the snaps on right away, it stays pretty secure and you are able to walk out the door um, from the grocery store or whatever if you're just kind of running in and out very quickly and you're able to get in the car and maybe then you can snap it shut. Or most of the times I get it to snap shut pretty quickly. So I'm not, you know, waiting on snapping that. But I just, again, I actually like the flap. Um, I thought it would be a con, but as a carried it. It's something I've actually really fallen in love with as I carry this bag longer and longer. Okay guys, so with all pros there are obviously cons and unfortunately this bag does have some cons. So the first con is I believe the leather. Um, I think the soft leather look is just absolutely stunning. I think I understand why they went with it. I, again, I think it gives it that high-end look. Um, however, I just don't know the longevity of the bag and how this leather will wear in the long run and that is something I'm fearful of. Again, I can only speak for about a month and a half of using it that it has held up very well but I, I am curious to see if in a year from now um, it will have the same durability as it does now um, just because it just it feels like it would just not be a bag that holds it very well like maybe the corners will scratch or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm very curious to see um, how time will tell in terms of the rigidity or you know just the overall durability of this bag. Um, so right now I say it's a con. It might not be, but that is a potential. Another thing I don't like about this bag, guys, is the fact that it does not have feet. Um, I have such issues with bags that do not have feet, especially when the leather is very soft like this, um, and I feel like you need to baby this bag a little bit more. Um, I, the fact that you can't just set it on a surface. Uh, be, because you know obviously you don't have the feet is a little bothersome in my opinion. Um, I feel like if a Target bag or a Walmart bag can have feet, a high-end bag should have feet as well, but that is just um, my issue. It might not be an issue for everybody. Another con of this bag, guys, is the fact that there are so few pockets. Like This is not a bag that is good for organization unless you are good with using Ziploc bags or little mini um, bags to kind of organize your things as you do only have that one slip pocket. If anyone from Kurt Geiger is watching this, I would especially love a pocket on the back. Um, I definitely think that that would zhuzh this bag up a little bit more. I would love a slip pocket for my phone to go in and out of uh, rather than open it up and put my phone in when I'm not using it. I just feel like that would lend to the ease of you know use. Uh, but that's just my opinion. It might not be everybody's. Lastly guys, and probably very minor, but I thought I'd point this out. Um, I do not like that the label is more or less like printed on versus like an actual plate. I actually brought out a coach bag to show you. So this coach bag has this plated coach logo. I know Kate Spade and Michael Kors does the same with their bags. They're a plated um, logo, whereas this one is just like more or less printed. 
I, I don't know. I find that a little cheap. That's my issue with it. Again, the reason they do it is beyond me. I just wish that it would have had a actual like, you know, plated logo, but that could be something to do with the fact that it's a very soft leather and they just didn't want, you know, to deal with that. So that's just, it's a very small issue, but it's an issue for me nonetheless. Anyway, guys, that is the bag. That is the Kirk Geiger XXL Kensington bag. Um, please let me know if you end up going to buy this bag. Again, I think it's absolutely stunning and I hope you found this review helpful. But until the next one, guys, remember life is short by the bag. I'll see you next time.